I think I was I was looking at Marvin the Martian one time when Where's I was the kaboom? when I was a kid, and I was thinking like, damn, this the only nigga in cartoons trying, and and what and, and he's trying to blow up the Earth, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, that's not right. Like we need to have, <laughs> it's got to be, you know, there's, there's many different black people out there that don't want to blow up the Earth, and and I feel like should be represented. That was the first moment where I was just kind of like really took a look. Um, and I didn't see myself anywhere, you know. I mean, Mr. T had a cartoon, but like, <laughs> I don't know, you know, other than that, it just wasn't many, man. Um, so it was at an early age, I noticed that, and that was always a thing of mine. So like, even when I would draw, I would make, I, I always, and my dad was also an artist, and he always encouraged me like to, you know, to, to draw black people, you know, um, all the way up until five, then he bounced. So after that, I was on my own. <laughs> This is the truth. Uh, I know you guys are all familiar with stuff like Transformers, G.I. Joe, and they did have black characters. And they was mad niggerish and stereotypical, and I hated it. Because, like, you have a dude on G.I. Joe, like, Roadblock, and he couldn't talk without it being a rap. Like, he could literally couldn't say nothing. Like, they'd be like, Roadblock, what do you think? Never play around an extra wire, or you could be playing with fire. Cobra's through, what do we do? Or then, you're a girl. And then you go to Transformers, and the black dude, the only black Transformer was a boombox. And I was just like, all right, man. I think we more than rappers and radios, man. So like, even I was like young. It was like, nah, that's that's not that's not what's up, man. So that was it was then, it was 1987. As black and POC storytellers, what do you feel as though your primary responsibilities are within and outside the black community when it comes to the media you create? What goals do you hope to achieve through the stories you tell, and what messages do you want to reach your viewers and readers? Um, I mean, I just think what Carl said, I just think you try to tell the truth. And I think that, um, you know, with, with us, I think, you know, he did it by telling the more realistic world, you know, of what we see, you know, more comic side. And for me, I try to tell it through, you know, fantasy stories, sci-fi, whatever. And I think that, um, you know, like, like I was arguing with one of our artists, Nick, and he was like, man, he was like, man, like you, you never see like black characters like riding a dragon or whatever. I was like, man, niggas don't want to see somebody riding a dragon. You know, like being honest, like until you do it and you do it the right way, you never know. You just create, you tell the truth, you um, you know, you make sure it resonates and and you just leave it up to the to the fans. <laughs>